Hello, this is Abiola David. In this video tutorial, we're going to see how to connect to our Power BI dataset to create a pivotable report in Excel. Let's get started. Now, we have this simple Power BI dashboard, okay? And there are three you know, measures in our data. So, I have actually published the report to the Power BI on the web. So, let's see it on the web. So, we have exactly the same thing. Now, in order for us to be able to connect to our data set, we must sign in into the Power BI. Very important. So let's come back to Excel. Now we can actually connect from the data tab under the Get and Transform Data group. Click on Get Data. So we can actually connect from the Power BI data set or go over to the Insert tab under the Tables group. Click on this new pivot table drop down and we can see pivot table from Power BI. Now let's do it from here. So I've already signed in. So when I click on that, I have this tax pane Power BI data set preview. So we hold on. Finally, so we can actually see our report. So this is my data set and the name is Automobiles Power BI. So we can see the name of the owner and the time it was refreshed. So let's click on this to build our pivot table. So we can actually see that our pivot table is being added to a new worksheet. So we just hold on. Finally, we have our report ready in the pivot in Excel. So we've been able to successfully connect to the Power BI data set. Then we can actually build a report. So as I told us, we have three measures. Can you see we have the total revenue, cost of goods sold, and gross profit. So it's exactly what we have over here. Okay. Can you see we have three measures now? Let's quickly build a sample, a small report. Now, let's do um, product by total revenue, cost of goods sold, and gross profits. Now, our report is ready, so we can actually see the total revenue, cost of goods sold, and gross profit by product. But we'll discover that the rule base doesn't make sense, we should be able to see. Product. No problem, just come to the design tab and click on the report layout. Of course, you can actually show in the outline form, but I prefer to use the tabular. So, when I click on that, show in tabular form, then I have the descriptive product as my label. So, can you see? So, this is essentially how we connect to our Power BI data set and create a report in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, give some likes and comments. Thank you and bye for now.